Howdy from Lawrence, Kansas. My name is Kate Ingenloff. I'm a distributional ecologist and a PhD candidate at the University of Kansas Biodiversity Institute. I'm sorry I'm unable to thank you in person for selecting me as one of the two 2018 GBIF Young Researcher Award recipients. Although in my case, young may be a slightly inaccurate description. Nevertheless, I'm fully aware that there's a plethora of amazing research in the works across the globe, and I'm incredibly honored to have been selected by the GBIF Science Committee for this year's doctoral award. GBIF mediated data are often the distributional ecologist's go-to source of species occurrence data for use in correlative modeling applications, otherwise known as species distribution modeling or ecological niche modeling. Unfortunately, many of these data lack biological context. That is, they often have no information about gender, age, breeding status, and so forth, which is a particular concern when we consider behaviorally complex species such as pelagic seabirds and many other migratory species. This lack of information, combined with other limitations inherent in current modeling methodologies, specifically the time averaging of environmental covariates, constrain not only the quality of the models we're capable of producing, but also the complexity of the questions that we're able to ask with those models. Thus, my doctoral research aims to improve modeling capacity by addressing two questions. First, can environmental covariates be efficiently incorporated into traditional modeling frameworks in a temporally explicit manner? And two, can we use Bayesian inference to infer relevant biological information from species occurrence data to account for within species variation? Now, our ability to incorporate temporal dynamics and species behavioral complexity into existing methods will result in more robust, biologically informed models that address specific concerns of species level management and policy development for highly mobile and or, and or migratory species, as well as disease vectors of public health interest. Not surprisingly, it takes a very large comprehensive data set to explore and develop new methods to address these questions. Luckily, such data are available via GBIF, and I've already accessed more than 5 million occurrence records across two avian groups shared by more than five dozen institutions to begin developing these methodologies. And I've gotta be honest, even though I'm still up to my eyeballs and not quite completed R code, all in all, things are looking pretty positive. And of course, I wouldn't be here without the unwavering support and guidance of my academic advisor, Dr. Town Peterson, as well as with funding and support from the KU Biodiversity Institute and the KU Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. I'd also like to extend a big thank you to my collaborators, Dr. Jason Matteo Poulos and fellow doctoral student TJ Clark, without whom I would undoubtedly be rocking back and forth in a corner somewhere, sobbing while attempting to navigate the realm of Bayesian inference. And finally, I'd like to thank GBIF on multiple levels. Firstly, I'm incredibly grateful for your support of early career scientists such as myself. But I'd also like to extend a huge thank you for your ongoing dedication to growing and cultivating the open access biodiversity informatics community. From your data mobilization efforts, without which research such as my own would be nearly impossible, to education, capacity building and outreach, and to your support for smaller projects, sometimes from the ground up as we see in many bid projects, the scope of your impact extends much further than you likely realize. So thank you again for your support and all the best with the remainder of the 25th governing board meeting. Cheers.